Behind me here are just a few of my screens. Today I'm going to bring you into the world of screen printing and show you how to do it. My main goal is to show you how to get from an idea all the way to a print. The coffee is hot, so let's go. Here is just one of many options. I started out with this photograph I took. Good contrast in the background and foreground. We're going to go to adjustments and down to threshold to completely separate the blacks and whites. To have just the tree stand out. We'll throw an adjustment layer on it and mask off anything that we don't want in the photograph. We'll just go for the tree. We'll get in all the little nooks and crannies until we got it just right. Here we have our finished product. I said that was one way to do it. Here's also a bike I have vectored out. I like how the tree came out, but I think we're going to go with the bike. Basically, you just want to print this out on a transparency. Position it how you need it. Sometimes you may need to print on more than one transparency and bring them together later. So let's go. First, choose the size appropriate for your design. We're going to cut the wood at a 45 degree angle and glue the ends together. Staple the corners with a staple gun and also staple down the sides of the screen. Next is a Diazo photo emulsion. Here's a look at our transparency and we like it. Now into the dark room. We do this under a red light so that the photo emulsion doesn't get exposed because it's light sensitive. Spread it over the screen and put it under a 250 watt photo flood bulb for about 10 minutes. Wash the emulsion out after that and get a nice solid screen. From here, we use screen filler to plug in any holes. Now let's get printing. In this case, we're using a t-shirt. Pull it over any hard surface and get the ink. Apply enough ink all around your design. With a squeegee, we're gonna pull the ink through the screen onto the fabric. Use enough pressure so that it goes all the way through the screen in all the areas. Lift up the screen, and there we have our print. Even in screen printing, you can see the detail we get in the bike. Make sure to wash the screen very thoroughly so no ink stays inside the screen. Clean up any leftover ink, and wear it proud. Here's a look at our earlier design with the tree. 